Good morning team Fullest. This is again Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Kick Off My Canal. So let's open this vlog. Today is a new vlog. Today is the 8th of November 2020. Yes, so I'm not I'm not just waking up, but I wake up this morning, I make breakfast for the kids, clean, and then I came back to bed, so I'm edit some videos. So now I'm done. And I want it's to a little bit noisy right now because the the dish the the washing machine is on, and so I'm about to cook. I've done wash the dirty dishes. Everything is done, and now I want to cook the okra that I took out from the fridge. I want to come and cook this. So I have my okra, I have my onions, tomato, and the dry fish I made the last time. I cannot peel it off. I have my meat already cooked i have my pepper because i love having pepper um in my food and then i have my palm oil so i don't know how i'm gonna do this cooking with this noise but maybe i'm going to do like a voiceover for you guys show you guys how i do things quick because it's a little bit noisy with this i'm just going to open the window for more um lights to come in because the the weather is is, is starting to get dark it's almost four o'clock you guys can see the time it's super early it's almost four o'clock but we're in the winter season so it gets dark a little bit faster so now i'm just going to start with the cooking so i'm going to show you guys how i cook so guys i'm going to start by putting the palm oil into the pan so that the palm oil can get melt and um, because now we're in the in the winter time so the palm oil is very very hard but normally in the summertime it melts very easily when you it's in the house room temperature but right now it's very very cold and the palm oil gets hard very fast so i'm just going to put it into the pan let it melt you know let that melt very nice and i also like it to burn a little bit not like burn to smell the house but i'm just going to leave it to warm up for a few minutes you know just let it warm up a little bit to just get rid of that smell i have the windows open because when i'm cooking i always have the windows in the kitchen open the doors open so that the fire alarm doesn't go on because if you know african when you're cooking african food the fire alarm go on very easily so now the palm oil is warm it's a little bit warmer so now i'm going to put the onions and i like to fry everything and um, everybody has their own way of cooking okra but this is how i cook mine when i cook my okra like this it allows my okra not to like super draw you know how okra is very slimy um, but my kids do not like it when it's super, super slimy. So that's the reason why I cook my okra like this. I just um, put the onions, let the onions fry for a few minutes, close the pan, leave it, and then I put the rest of the other ingredients. Uh, my kids do not like very super slimy okra. They don't like it, especially the girls. They don't like when the okra is super, super slimy. So now that the onions have steamed and fry a little bit, now I'm going to add um, the rest of the ingredients. As you guys can see, um, the onions has fried. It's not like the onion is super, super fried, like burn, but just a little bit fried. And now I'm just going to add the the pepper the yellow pepper the green pepper the yellow pepper and the green pepper the paprika as we call it is an option it's not something that you can add it's not something you must have but it's something that i like i just like to see that colorfulness into the pan it just makes things look very beautiful so now that everything has fried now i'm going to add the okra the um the, the reason why i'm adding the okra so early is because the okra is coming from the freezer so it has a little bit of ice so i'm gonna put the okra and then allow that also to fry up with the onions and the pepper let it fry a little bit so i'm just gonna try to mix it a little bit and then close it let it steam for a few minutes and let it fry and then after that i'm going to add the rest of the ingredients when i cook my okra like this it's it's slimy but it's not like super super slimy and the kids can really enjoy eating it so now i've changed the gas i've put it into the slower gas because i don't want it to burn so now i'm going to add the 
tomato i'm going to add the pepper i like to add the tomato a little bit later because tomato do have a lot of water so that's the reason why i add the tomato at the end because i want the okra to fry a little bit so now i've added tomato the pepper this is the hot african pepper not too much but just a little bit i'm gonna mix everything and then leave it to steam for few minutes you don't want to overcook your okra and now i'm going to add the seasoning maggi i don't really use a lot of salt when i'm cooking <laughs> but i do use a, a little bit of i do use some maggi because maggi do also have some salt i use salt on the meats when i was cooking the meats so i did put um enough salt on the meats but on that on the sauce itself i don't really put a lot of salt so I just put a lot of maggi and seasoning so after putting all the maggi and seasoning i just like to squeeze it so that you don't have this chunk of maggi because the dish is almost finished you don't want to have this chunk of maggi you don't want to trap so it's good for you to like make sure you break everything into pieces and so yeah after doing that i'm going to add the meats yes because the meat has already cooked so it's easy i'm just going to add the meats and all the rest of the goodies yes it's my favorite part so i'm gonna add i'm gonna add a little bit of water the water i got from the meats the water i used to cook the meat i'm just gonna add a little bit and i'm just gonna mix everything and then allow it to steam for a little bit you know and then later on i'll just taste it if there's enough salt if there's enough pepper if there's anything needed then i'll just add um that into it so yeah that is what i do just add a little bit more water not too much but just a little bit because i want the everything to just cook together for a few more minutes and then we're going to dish everything but yeah just adding everything and then taste it if there is more things needed and yes i need to add some few things so I'm going to cut some pepper. I'm going to take a little bit of pepper. I'm going to cut that and also a little bit of maggi. I'm going to cut some pepper. The pepper is, is hot. If you're somebody who is not um, really into spicy, maybe a little bit. But I, I'm not really into spicy, spicy food. But just that I like to taste I like I love the taste of pepper in the food, but I don't really eat a lot of spicy. Trust me, um, I have some people if they cook for you guys, it's really spicy. I don't really eat a lot of spice. A little bit go a long way, but um, yeah, I just like to feel that spiciness in the food. I don't like when the food has no pepper in it. I can't eat it, but I don't. So I also do not like when the food has a lot of pepper in it. So it's a little bit yeah. So now I'm going to add one more Maggi because uh, I just need extra. Just taste it and then you know you need extra. I'm just going to squeeze that, just break everything into pieces, into the food. And then mix everything, leave everything to steam. And then I'm just going to use that while everything is steaming. I'm just going to use that opportunity to clean the house to clean the kitchen clean everything wash all the dirty dishes that i have used make sure i've washed everything and clean everything but now just mixing it this is this is really nice so if you have time like you cook this food and then you put it in the containers very very handy and this this fish really saved me a lot of money going to the market buying dry fish if you guys have not seen that video how i make this dry fish on my own i'll put it for you guys right on top there so you guys can go and check it out um putting this dry fish just make the the, the taste of the food take it to another level makes the food Mm, delicious really really delicious so now i'm just gonna leave that to steam and i'm going to wash and clean and clean all the area make sure everything is clean yeah just make sure everything is clean before i dish the food so beauties i'm done with the cooking as you guys can see i've cleaned the stove and now i just leave the okra is ready so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put everything in these containers because um it's more easier for me i put this on the containers and when it get cold i put it in the freezer so and tomorrow also i'm gonna cook also 
and I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some of the dishes in the container also and put it in the freezer so sometimes I do have like five six different sauce in the freezer so for the days that I don't feel like cooking I will just take a, a run of this out and one of this is enough for my family just my family in the house just us without no visitor one of this is enough so and days where I don't feel like okay I, I don't want to eat sauce I want to eat spaghetti or macaroni or something else then I don't need to take any sauce out I'll just prepare that one but this one really saved me a lot of time so this is the okra the okra is ready it's looking very very delicious so now it's time to just dish this out and put it in the container so guys this is it looking so delicious so let me take this one and move it over there where I can put it into the container very easy because I have cleaned all so of guys, this now it's time to dish the sauce I have four containers but if I if I can't get four I can get three is enough so let's dish this is how your girl cooks try to get another one I'm trying to get one here as well. So I'm going to get three bowls, three containers, which is good. One of the containers is what we are going to eat today. I'm going to make fufu later. And the two are going to the freeze. This is what we are going This one is the one we are going to eat today. And these two are going to the freezer. Uh, a little bit here. I'm going to eat okra so with okra you don't need a whole lot of sauce so the pan is empty I'm just gonna leave it to stand so that it get cool so these are going to the freeze and this is what we're going to eat today for dinner I'm gonna leave it to kind of cool down just put a little um, some on top of it so that it doesn't get um, something doesn't come into it like this yeah so this is everything guys so this is it this is how we cook I'm super super excited I'm really really happy so now I get this tomorrow I'm going to make something else and tomorrow I'm going to make something else and I, and I can also get those into the freezer so by the end of the week maybe I have like six or five different sauce into the freeze and then we come in week if I don't feel like cooking I don't need to cook so this is it I hope you all like this video this is very very handy if you are a mom you're a working mom you don't have time in the weekend as you can cook put everything in the freezer this is very 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 handy I'm not the kind of person that really eats a lot outside in the streets I love home cooking so this kind of really saved me time for me to rest like for example if I'm back home I'm really tired I'm exhausted I don't feel like cooking just take one of these out of the freezer boil or rice or make some fufu you're you're good to go you can have your own time rest a little bit as a mom so this is it guys <laughs> same fullest so let's close this vlog it's getting dark as you guys can see it's still very early but it's getting darker right now and i've shown you guys the food and i cooked i'm really really happy so let's close this vlog thank you guys so much for your love and support i really really appreciate it if you guys have any question let me know in the comment box 
and all the information you guys need will be in the description box i just love cooking like i love to eat good food so yeah team fullest thank you guys so much for your love and support and i'll see you guys on my next video peace out bye